Hey there, Chair and Your Guitar Guide helping you find your sound. Thanks for showing up at my channel, Your Guitar Guide, where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If it's your first time here, have a look around and consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. Today, I want to show you three beginner chords, and then I'm going to show you how to play an easy song on guitar. And that's coming up! So the first chord we're going to learn is the G chord. There's several ways to play the G chord. And first, we're going to start out showing you how I play the G chord. All three ways are proper. It's whatever you feel more comfortable with is what you need to do. So try them all out and see which one suits you. So first, I like to put my third finger on the G note at the sixth string. It's the third fret. Then I've got my second finger on the second fret of the A string, the fifth string. And then I use my pinky down here to play the third fret of the high E string. When you play the G chord, you can strum all strings. That's one way to play. Now, when you're playing chords, any chord, you want to have your fingers positioned. These are the frets. So you want to be as close behind the fret as possible. you get away from the fret, it starts buzzing. So line your finger up behind the fret without touching the fret. And see that right there? A string is muted because this third finger is not sitting properly. So what you want to do is make sure your hand, you should have room in between here, between the bottom of the neck with your hand. If your hand's flat, as if you were picking the guitar up, you're going to be hitting a bunch of strings, and the strings will be muted. So keep your hand positioned. See how you can see it clear through to my shirt? You don't want it up here. Keep it low like that. Elbow in. So after you make the G chord, Take one string at a time and make sure they all ring out. Another way to make the G chord is by putting your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, the A string. Your second finger will be on the third fret of the E string. And your third finger will be down here on the third fret of the E string. So effectively, it's how I had it before. I just had my fingers positioned differently. But it's the same three strings. And that is like a foreign object to me, doing it that way. But if it's comfortable for you to play, then do it that way. The way to play the G chord is by keeping these two fingers in position on the second fret of the A string and the third fret of the E string. Move your third finger up to the B string, which is right here, the second string at the third fret, and then place your pinky on the high E string. So now you've got a chord that sounds fuller. After you set your fingers up to play the G chord, or any chord for that matter. Pick them one at a time. Make sure that they're all ringing out. So the first chord we're learning is the G. And like I said, all three are a G chord. Just figure out which one suits you and go for it. I'll stick with this one. Then 
The next chord we're going to learn is the C. And what we've got here is our first finger on the first fret of the B string, the second string. Your second finger is at the second fret of the D string, the fourth string. And then stretch way out here with this on the fifth string of the third fret. And you can play from the fifth string down when you play the C chord. Pick them one at a time, make sure they're all ringing out. Now, to help play the C chord, lean into it. This, if you're up high like this, look at your hand. Or if your elbow's out, you can't help but move the mechanics of your hand. Wherever that elbow is, your, your hand's going with it. So keep your elbow in and lower. And also, if your thumb's up here, peeking out, you're, it's going to be hard to play that C. So keep your thumb back here on the neck of the guitar. Lower it down. And you're, use it to put pressure on the back of the, uh, the guitar neck so that you can clamp onto the neck but yet have your fingers in position to play the C. And then also, you want to be on the tips of your fingers up here when you're playing. If you're not on the tips of your fingers, you're going to be flat. And if your fingers are flat, you're going to be playing other strings that you don't want to be playing. So keep your tips of your fingers. And another thing, after you get used to playing the C chord, you can always mute this sixth string because you don't want it to ring out by just barely touching it with this third finger. So when you strum, that's a muted string. You don't want it to ring out. Now we've learned a G, a C, and the next chord we're going to learn is a D. Right, so to play the D, position your first finger on the second fret of the G string, which is the third string. Your second finger is on the second fret of the E string. And your third finger is on the B string at the third fret. Play from the fourth string down. And the reason we're playing this fourth string is it's also when in tune and you just play it by open with not fretting it, that's a D note and a D string. So I said we we're gonna learn a song. So we've got a G, C, D. You may or may not have heard that before. Start with the G. Just do all down strums. Make it easy. Two down strums. Use this to deaden the strings. After you strum two times down on the G, stop the strings with this hand. Then C. Strum down two times on C. Then D. Strum down two times on D. Back to C. So down, down on the G. C. D. C. All 
All right, if you like this kind of lesson, could you let me know in the comments? I'd love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure and watch that lesson next. Thanks.